This is a ghost town. There used to be 6,000 traders between the Board of Trade and the Chicago Board Option Exchange and the Chicago Merck. And right now, there are none, zero, on those trading floors. Those floors used to be bustling. My head would come, I'd come out of there and you couldn't hear. Your throat would be sore from screaming your bids and offers. And now, it's silent. There's nothing. It really is a ghost town. The New York Stock Exchange has announced that they will be reopening, granted with fewer people on the floor, but they will be reopening May 26th, the day after Memorial Day. The Chicago exchanges haven't let anybody know what their plans are yet to reopen. But when they reopen, we know this much, there will be far fewer traders on the floor. Not just spacing, but there will be fewer traders. And one of the strengths of trading pits has always been that there's a lot of folks all concentrated in one place, all getting information at the same time. And if you make that disparate, spread it out or across the trading floor, that's gonna be a whole different kind of trading. And imagine, because I know I lived through multiple listing, we called it, when IBM used to just trade in Chicago, and all of a sudden it was trading everywhere, on the Amex, on the Philex, on the Picos, in Chicago, on the Inter uh, National Securities Exchange, ICE. Uh, all of that caused prices to vary dramatically from price point to price point. Ultimately, the SEC said we had to guarantee prices that if it trades over there, in other words, over on Philly, at a price through my bid, I had to make the trade good for my buyer on the Chicago Board Option Exchange. Now, we're not sure how this is gonna play out because if you've got five separate S&P 500 pits trading at, for instance, CBOE Global Markets, that's what they call it now, that's gonna be significantly different. And what about the VIX pit? The VIX, that's where it trades, folks, at the Chicago Board Option Exchange, or now, again, CBOE Global Markets. So if we've got all these different things going on and prices that might trade through on that side of the pit, 40 yards that side, or 40 yards this side, that's something you're going to have to deal with, and I don't think the public's ready for that. So folks, uh, since 1981, I've been down here on the trading floors of all of these exchanges, and now it's going to be really different. We'll have to see exactly how the markets and the traders, and ultimately you, the investors, react to what's going to be going on when these floors reopen. I'm John Najarian from marketrebellion.com.